Hey everybody, getting ready to go live with some trivia here, Bible trivia tonight. And I'm going to try to find this on Facebook so I can uh, share it to the church Facebook page. So if anybody's out there, holla. Hello, Carol Smedley. There I am. I'm going to hit share, and I'm going to share this to the church Facebook page. And uh, you guys, feel free to hit that share button as well. Um, where am I going to share this? On your page. <laughs> Grace Works. And share now. Anybody else want to share this? I'm going to need a lot of help tonight, guys, uh, because we're doing Bible verses tonight, popular Bible verses. And uh, you can get as specific as you would like with your answers tonight. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be doing, uh, I'm inside tonight because it's a little bit, it's getting dark now. So I, I moved inside, but, um, uh, just so you could, we could see a little bit better. And I'm sitting here on the stage at the church right now. Just thought I would do it in here. And, uh, there we go. Hello, Louise. Get your Bibles ready. Get your Google search engines ready. Jeff, Tasha, Esther. I'm going to need some help here. We're doing popular Bible verses tonight, and I'm going to need a lot of help with this one because, uh, like I say, hello, Lee. You guys can get as specific as you want. You can give me the book of the Bible that it comes from. You can give me the uh, verse. Uh, you can give me the verse uh, chapter. You can give me the verse chapter and verse. But I'm going to. What I'm basically going to do for the most part is I'm going to ask you. Uh, I'm going to quote some Bible scriptures here, and. Uh, you guys get to tell me where it's found. So get your Google search engines ready. Or I know some of you guys are just geniuses, so you don't need that. So, all righty. Hopefully we've got enough people tuning in right now. So, of course, I'm going to start, give you a hint. We're going to start in the beginning here. So question number one, popular Bible verses. Hit that share button. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Does anybody know where you can find that in the Bible. You can give me the uh, you can give me the book. You can give me the book and chapter. You can give me the book, the chapter, and the verse. Uh, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Does anybody know where you might find that scripture reference? If you say the Bible, you are correct. Carol Smedley says Genesis 1-1. I know she put Genesis 11. She just didn't get the colon in there. And uh, yeah. There you go, Carol. <laughs> so, uh, anybody else? Anybody else? Carol is saying that you might find that in Genesis 1-1. Yes, Jeff. Jeff and Carol and Tasha, Tasha, you guys are correct. Genesis 1-1 is where you would find uh, that scripture reference. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Question number one. Yes, Lee. Uh, so, popular Bible verses. Hello, Chip. Uh, hello, and, and Louise got it as well. Question number two in our popular Bible verses. Um, once again, you can give me the uh, you can give me the uh, book. You can give me the book and chapter, or you can give me the book, chapter, and verse. Uh, get as specific as you want with our popular Bible verses here. So, uh, popular Bible verse number two: The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. Does anybody know where you can find that in the Bible? The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. Where might you find that? You can give me the book, you can give me the uh, book and chapter, or you can give me the book, uh, chapter, and verse, if you know it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Anybody know that? And by the way, hit the share button, guys. Uh, Carol Smedley says Psalm 23. Louise says Psalm 23. Chip Liner says Psalm 23. Jeff says Psalms. Lydia says Psalm 23, and all of you guys, Louise says Psalm 23, you guys are all correct. Uh, Steve Heisey says Psalm 23, you guys are on it tonight. Psalm 23 is correct. Uh, that's where you can find that. Yes, Lee says it, and I know that uh, sometimes I know the answers seem to come across before I even ask the question. For some reason, some people get um, the Facebook uh, answers before they actually get my video, uh, and uh, it's just the way that the, it works in different places. So, um, so anyway, question number three: Popular Bible verses. Hit that share button uh, once again. Popular Bible verses. Um, question number three: In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Where would you find that? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 
What book of the Bible might you find that in? Or book and chapter? Or book, chapter, and verse? And if you answer again, saying the Bible, you are correct right off the bat. And I'm just trying to get you to get more specific. Chip says John 1. Carol says Genesis 1. Lydia says John 1. Jeff says John. And... You guys are correct. It is John 1. Yes, Lee, John. It says, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with, with God, and the Word was God. Of course, Genesis 1 says, <laughs> that Carol says, I'm going with Chip. Yeah, Genesis 1 says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. John 1 says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Hello, Martha Faith. It's good to see you. Um, yes, Louise. And question <clears throat> number four, popular Bible verses. Take just a second to hit the share button wherever that is on, wherever that is on your screen. And uh, that way this will share out to more people. But uh, question number four in popular Bible verses, question number four says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Does anybody know where you can find that in the Bible? Anybody? For the wages of sin, of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I hope I, you know what? I actually didn't look this up. I went Romans 6. Chip says Romans. Lydia got a little more specific with Romans 6. Oh, look at Carol going all the way to the verse. Romans 6, 23. Jeff says Romans. Louise says Romans 6. Lee says Romans. And you guys, again, you are correct with Romans and Carol being very specific with the Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes, Martha Fay. And, uh, uh, you guys are doing good. I was actually thinking I was going to have a hard time getting people to give answers on this tonight because sometimes trying to narrow it down to all the way where it is in the Bible can be a little bit difficult. So here's one that I think Chip Weiner is going to get. I think I've asked this in a trivia before. So I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Question number five in popular Bible verses is I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Uh, where might you find that in the Bible? Once again, I wrote these down off the top of my head, so you guys are going to have to fact check me or Google check me or whatever you got to do. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Anybody? Anybody know where you might be able to find that in the Bible? Lydia says Philippians. Anybody else? Chip says Philippians 4.13. I thought, you might th I thought that you might do that, Chip, because I know in athletics... Yes, Carol. Uh, Carol's an athlete. Yeah, she did, still is an athlete. She was a collegiate basketball player, but now she's a tennis player, amongst other things. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Philippians. Louise, Philippians 4. Yes, you guys are correct. Yes, Lee, it is Philippians 4, 13. We uh, use that a lot uh, if you were in athletics. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we did that a lot in um, athletics whenever we were in uh uh, high school and college and everything else, and we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. So, uh, all right, so question number six. Question number six, uh, uh, popular Bible verses in the Bible. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength. Now, I'm looking for one that in the Bible, a specific uh, book, chapter, and verse here, but um, but uh, I was going to say that you can um, that you probably you can find this in a lot of places in the Bible. But I was looking for one in particular, so you guys can just start throwing out there. Lydia says Matthew twenty seven. That's not the one I looked up, but I think Matthew twenty seven has that as well, uh, or Matt, or Matthew twenty two is what you're saying. I know it's in Matthew somewhere as well. Martha Fay says Hebrews. I'm not sure if it's in Hebrews. Carol says Matthew 22. Jeff says Matthew. Anybody else? Anybody else? Lee says Matthew. Well, 
And you guys are correct that it is in Matthew, and it may be in a couple other places in the Gospels, but I, I know I looked it up in Mark 12, 30. Uh, that is that, uh, one of the places you can find it. Matthew and Mark, it's one of the Ten Commandments, uh, the greatest commandment, as uh, Jesus said. And so you can find it back in the Old Testament as well. So, But uh, you guys are correct. Once again, that was kind of a tricky one because it's all through the Bible. Uh, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength. It is one of the Ten Commandments. So uh, uh, anyway, so there you have it. Um, so you probably are correct all the places that you're putting in the Bible. So, <laughs> so you probably got it right, Martha Faye. Um, let's see here. Um, Question number seven, you can fact check me on that and find all the different places that it is in the Bible. Question number seven, whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Do it all to the glory of God. Whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Where do you think you might find that in the Bible? Popular Bible verses. Um, once again, hit that share button, guys. The more you share this, uh, the more different people get to see it. And whenever I do something wrong, the more that they can make fun of me online. So uh, hit that share button. Whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Where might you find that scripture verse in the Bible? Where do you think it might be? You can give me the book. Carol Smedley says 1 Corinthians. Anybody else? Lydia says 1 Corinthians. By the way, great job yesterday singing, Lydia. You did an outstanding job in both services. Uh, looking forward to doing some more singing with us. So uh, um, that was fun. <laughs> Lee, <laughs> Lee, you are correct in the Bible. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> when all else fails. <laughs> That's good. Uh, my bonus questions are going to be kind of tricky with that stuff. Uh, Louis says uh, 1 Corinthians. Well, if you said Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, the Bible, uh, 1, 1 Corinthians 10, 31 is where you can find that. Whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So that was question number seven in popular Bible verses trivia tonight. So question number eight. You cannot do a Bible trivia about popular Bible verses if you don't do this one, Okay. Here it is. Okay, let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, okay, yeah, how did I miss that? Um, Jesus wept. Jesus wept. Where might you find that in the Bible? <laughs> You've got to, the shortest, you always have to do the shortest Bible verse. Anybody, anybody know where you might find Jesus wept? In the Bible. Popular Bible verses, hit that share button. Popular Bible verses trivia. I was sitting here looking on my, my thing here, and I left out one of the most popular Bible verses in the Bible, so maybe I'll just add that one. You are correct, Lydia. It is John, Does that, and Carol says John. Anybody else know a little further, deeper in where you might find that in John? Jesus wept, the shortest verse in the Bible. Jeff says John. You are correct, Martha Fay. It is the shortest verse in the Bible. Louis says John 11. There we go. Pat says John. Lee Cor says John. Martha Faye says John. Well, you guys are correct, and Lydia nails it with John 11.35. Jesus wept, the shortest verse in the Bible, in the English language anyway. So, uh, um, the American, American language. So, uh, question number nine. Uh, and I kind of took this out of a different uh, translation of the Bible. This, I'm, I'm going to be curious how fast you guys can get this one. This one's, get, get ready. Get your Google search engines ready or get that mind going. You ready for this? She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in snuggly strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. Where might you find that in the Bible? She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in snuggly strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. And the King James, I think, says something. She brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger because there's no room for them in the inn. Something like that. Does anybody know where you might find that? Carol says Luke. If you are correct, Carol, which I think you might be, that means they would be talking about Jesus and that she 
would be Mary. Yes, Lydia says Luke. So we've got two people who think that is in Luke. Anybody else? Jeff says Luke or Mark. Wow, Louise, Luke 2, 7, going all the way to the verse. Look at that. Lee says Luke. Well, all of you are correct with Luke and Louise. You nailed it with Luke 2, verse 7. Yes, that was that's good. That's good. Luke 2, that's what we famously go to. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, Martha Faye. I know that I was going to say that uh, Luke gives, I think, the most... Um, in-depth account of uh, the birth of Jesus. But uh, so, uh, so anyway, but I know that some of the Gospels tell some, some other parts too, but Luke is definitely the most in-depth account that we have in the Bible. Uh, so question number 10 in popular Bible verses. Popular Bible verses, question number 10. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead... You will be saved. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Oh, Louise said her husband. I looked it up. <laughs> well, good. That's, that's what's good about this trivia. It provokes us to open our Bibles and look at it because, you know, it's something that's fun to kind of do it. And it helps me get into my Bible whenever I'm preparing this. So uh, uh, where might you find that question number 10? If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Lydia says, Romans 10. Romans 10. Anybody else with a thought of where that might be? Carol Smedley says Romans. Anybody else? Anybody else? If you openly declare, Martha says Romans, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Lee says Romans. I love to share that verse because we ha we have a lot of different belief systems even uh, in our whole in our whole world and sometimes we look at some things that other people do that we don't agree with or they do this sin I do this sin uh, and all these types of things and we try to judge people on uh, what they what their actions are and you know I like to go back to that verse that says and they say oh he can't be a Christian or she can't be a Christian because he does this or she does that or that type of thing and I say where does it say Anywhere, but in Romans 10, the only way that you can be saved is by declaring the name of Jesus and believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead. It, everything else, it does matter, but it doesn't matter. As long as you declare that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So uh, now we want to try to be good people after that and do the right things and follow the commandments, loving the Lord our God with all our heart, loving our neighbors as ourselves. But uh, but definitely start with open and declaring that Jesus is Lord, believing in our heart that God raised him from the dead. So you guys are correct when you say Romans 10, verse 9. Good job, guys. You know what? I'm going to give you a question 11 because I cannot believe that I didn't actually put this one on here. I'm going to do this one right off the top of my head right here. Uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever will believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Where do you think you might find that one? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Where might you find that one? I'm going off the top of my head on this one, guys. So Now, I've got some bonus questions here. Carol Smedley says John 3.16. I don't know about that, Carol. <laughs> Louise says John 3.16. Well, maybe, Carol. You might have, you might have gotten it. Uh, anybody else? <clears throat> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Martha says John 3.16. Lee says John. Jeff says uh, John 3.16. And you guys are correct in saying John 3.16. Probably, at least when I was growing up, that was the most popular Bible verse, I, I would say. Uh, John 3.16. Uh, okay, I'm going to go to my bonus questions here. Once again, hit the share button. Uh, popular Bible verses in the Bible, and I'll finish up with these bonus questions. These are not, um, these are, well, I'll just ask. These are true or false questions, okay? True or false? This is a Bible verse, okay? True or false? Money is the root of all evil. True or false? Is that a Bible verse that is in the Bible? Money is the root of all evil. True or false? Bonus question. 
True or false, this is a Bible verse. Money is the root of all evil. You think that's true? Is that true that that's a Bible verse or is that false? Carol says that is a farce. Louise says false. Anybody else? Anybody else? Money is the root of all evil. Jeff says false. Pat says true. Lee says false. Well, the answer is... Well, farce meant the same thing, I think, uh, Carol. Uh, hey, look at Martha Faye. You were going right where I was going with that. The answer is false because I kind of tricked the wording in there. Money is the root of all evil is a false statement. The love of money is the root of all evil. You can find that in 1 Timothy 6, verse 10. Uh, money is the root of all evil is a false statement uh, as far as a Bible verse. The love of money is the root of all evil is what the Bible verse actually says. So one more bonus question here, and I'll let you go at this. There is a Bible verse in the Bible that says this, true or false? And I'm summing it up whenever I say this because uh, there's more to this um, this verse. There's a Bible verse that says this, true or false? Guard her heart. There is a Bible verse in Proverbs that says, guard her heart. Is that true or false? There's a Bible verse in Proverbs that says, guard her heart. And of course, there's other stuff to that verse, but that's part of it. True or false? Hello, Susan. Is that a true or false statement or Bible verse? Am I making that up? <laughs> guard her heart, true or false? Louise says true. Bible verse in Proverbs says guard her heart. Carol says true. Martha Faye says don't know that one. Jeff says true. Lee says true. All right. Well, the answer is, is there a verse in Proverbs in the Bible that says, guard her heart and then goes on to say other stuff? The answer is false. The answer is false. There is not a Bible verse that says that in the Bible. You will definitely hear a lot of girls quote that, but there is not a verse that says, guard her heart. There is a verse in Proverbs that says, guard your heart. <laughs> it is uh, Proverbs 4.23. It says, guard your heart. And a lot of times I hear that misquoted when people say, you're supposed to guard his heart or you're supposed to guard her heart. No, that is a false Bible verse. There's nothing in the Bible that says that. It says, guard your heart. So anytime somebody comes to you and says, you should guard his heart or you should guard her heart, it's in the Bible. You can say, actually, it does. It says, guard your heart. So, okay, there you go. There you have it. So, uh, so look at that, Proverbs 4.23. Fact check me on that. Make sure that I'm not saying that wrong. But uh, that is a false statement that I made when I said, there's a Bible verse that says, <laughs> that's right, Carol. James should guard your heart. That guy better be taking care of you. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, I was trying to get people with that one. So, uh, <laughs> so. <clears throat> well, good. Good. I'm glad that we cleared that up. Guard your heart. And that is a very, very, very good scripture verse to read. I encourage you, if you go back and read anything tonight, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm tricky. If you go and go back and check me on anything tonight, read Proverbs 4.23. I always encourage you to read the Proverbs, but Proverbs 4.23, talking about guarding our hearts or guarding your heart. So uh, uh, check, check that one out. So um, but anyway, I really appreciate y'all joining me tonight. We had a lot of people join in tonight. And uh, and um, y'all did a really good job answering all these, so I appreciate you uh, checking in with me. Um, yes, that was fun. I, it makes it a lot more fun when people join in. Hey, I want to encourage you real quick, and I'm going to go. Um, this Wednesday at 11.30 a.m., we do our Facebook Live with the pastors. Uh, so 11.30 a.m., we do our Facebook Live moment with the pastor. Well, this uh, Wednesday at 11.30 a.m., it's going to be a very special uh, day. Uh, we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be Facebook Live with Curtis Revels 
and representative, state representative Esther Helton is going to be with us Facebook Live. Now, we're, probably, we're going to be off-site uh, with uh, Curtis and uh, Esther, but it's going to be Wednesday morning at 11.30 a.m. Facebook Live on the Grace Works Church Facebook page. Mark your calendars. Uh, Put reminders in your phone, set alarms, do whatever you have to do because Esther is going to be presenting uh, Mr. Curtis Revels with something very special. And uh, uh, I'm excited that I'm going to be able to be there. So, uh, But you guys can be there Facebook Live, and I know uh, that you guys love uh, Curtis. We all love Curtis so much around here, and it'll be special to be, a, be able to be a part of it uh, with him. So 11.30 a.m., Facebook Live, tune in. We're going to be off campus doing this, but, uh, uh, but you can catch it on Facebook Live. So... Uh, but anyway, so make sure you tune in. Yeah, thanks, thanks, uh, Lee. Thanks for coming in and joining, and Louise and, and everybody. So I'm going to have a word of prayer. Uh, once again, Mark Calendars, 11.30 a.m., Facebook Live, Wednesday, Veterans Day. It has something to do with that. So, uh, and I have somebody calling me right now. It's Bill calling me. So, hey, I'm going to answer it while y'all are watching. Hey, hey, Bill, you're on uh, Facebook Live right now. I'm finishing up my trivia. I, I, I thought you were calling to give me a hard time. Can, can I call you back in just a minute? Or do you, you want me to say anything to anybody on here while, I'm, uh, while I have you on the phone? <laughs> okay, I'll call, I'll call you back in a minute. <laughs> You're good, man. See you, bye. It, you, rarely, you rarely catch Bill when he doesn't have some witty remark to say, but he was like, oh, no, 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 just call me back. <laughs> uh, so... Um, Yes, we're going to be an on-the-road broadcast. There you go. So, uh, <laughs> well, hey, I'm going to have a word of prayer, and we will get going. Thank you all for joining tonight. God, I thank you that we could come here and that we can just uh, remember some of these scripture verses that I've, I've learned when I was younger. And, God, it reminds me and it reminds us why we need to hide these things in our heart, God, because I know the things that want to come out of my heart a lot of times, especially in a political environment, God, are not uh, the best things. And so, God, uh, just help us to... Fill up our hearts with your scripture so the things that would come out of our mouth uh, would be truth and would be things that you would want us to say. And uh, so, God, uh, we just thank you that we could remember these things. And, um, uh, God, I pray that uh, you would just give us a good evening as we go our separate ways. And uh, it's my privilege to speak on behalf of everyone who's watching this broadcast right now. God, when I tell you that we love you. And, God, we thank you for the gift of salvation that we have through Jesus Christ. It's in Jesus' name we pray all these things. Amen. All right. Hey, there's Bill. <laughs> so, so anyway, y'all hit that share button. And Bill, I'm about to give you a call back here in just a second. So uh, y'all take care and have a wonderful night. See ya.